Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do this in two different ways. Changing the color of the data points using different categories and then changing the color of the data points using different numbers. So first of all, we'll select the data here and make the chart. Go to insert and then insert a scatter chart. Then we'll double click on the data points in order to open up the formatting bar and we will change the border to no line and then increase the size of the markers to make them easier to see. Then make sure that you have the chart selected and go to view and macros and record macro. And we will call this macro color underscore dots and OK. And now the macro is recording. So we'll click once to select the whole series and then click a second time to select just one data point and then right click and change the fill to a standard color. Then we'll go back to the macros and stop recording. Then we can go to view macros and we can see the macro that we just made and we are going to edit it. So we don't need these comments here. And the format fill for color part is the part that actually changes the color. So we don't need the visible equals true part because that is the default anyway. And we also don't need the transparency or the solid parts. So we'll put this all on one line. And then in this line here, we are selecting the first data point. And then on the next line, we are doing something with that selection. But in VBA, you don't actually need to select something in order to make changes to it. So we can delete this part here. And then we also don't need the end with part. And then for the first line, we are just selecting the whole series. And again, you don't need to select something to make changes to it. So we can just delete that as well. And then we end up with the one line of code that we actually want. Now, this is quite a long line of code. So I'm going to copy this part here and then define a new variable that I will call s as series. Then we'll set s to be equal to and then I'll paste in this here. So s is equal to the first series in the active chart. If you have a chart with multiple series, then you'll need to change this number to be whatever you want it to be. Now we can delete this part here and replace it with s so we get a much shorter line of code. Now at the moment, this code is changing the color of the first data point. But if I change this here to the number two, it will then change the color of the second data point. And you can see this here changes to yellow. Now what we want it to do is change the color of all of the data points. And in order to do that, we're going to use a for loop. So I will define another variable called i as integer and integer is just a whole number. Then here we'll put for i is equal to 1, 2, 10. And then under this, we will put next i. Then we'll change the number here to i. And so what this will do is loop around this line of code 10 times. So when I run this, it changes the color of the first 10 data points in the series. Now we wanted to change the color of all of the data points. So in order to do that, we have to count how many data points we have. And we can do that with s.points.count. Then when I run this, the color of all of the data points changes. Now the next step is to change the color of these data points based on the categories in the third column. So we'll do this using an if test. And we'll say if 
cells, open brackets, then we need the row number, and this will be I plus one because we have a header row. And then the column number will be three as our categories are in the third column. So we're saying if the value in this cell is equal to A, then we want to change the color of that data point. And I'm going to copy this line of code and then paste it here and then paste it again. And then we'll change this to B and this to C. Then when it comes to actually choosing the colors, we need to go to home and fill and then more colors and custom. And then we can click and drag here and here in order to choose the colors that we want. So we will then get numbers for the red, the green and the blue. And we need to make a note of these three numbers. And then they become these three numbers here. So I'm going to change this to get the colors that I want. Then we need to make sure that we have the chart selected so that it is the active chart. Then we'll run this and the colors of the data points change. Now for the next method, we'll change the color of the data points based on the numbers in this column here. So what I'm going to do is apply conditional formatting to these cells and then use VBA to change the color of the data points to match the colors in the cells. So we'll go to conditional formatting and color scales and select this here. And then we'll go to manage rules and we will edit this rule and we'll change the minimum to be 200 and the midpoint to be 300 and then the maximum will be 400 and we can also change the colors here if we want and then okay and we'll apply this now we'll make sure that we have the chart selected and go back to the code we don't need these two lines of code here anymore and we also don't need the if test we are going to change the color of the data points to be equal to the color in these cells. So we'll type cells, open brackets, and the row number will again be I plus one. And then the column number this time will be four as our numbers are in the fourth column. Then we'll do dot display format dot interior dot color. Then we can run this and the colors of the data points change to match the colors in this column here. Okay, so in this video, I have shown you how to use VBA to change the color of data points in a chart in Excel. And that is everything.